Hey guys, Blender 4.0 is finally here along with the most awaited feature called light linking. Using this feature, I will tell you how to efficiently use light and render your character in Blender. If you haven't used this feature yet, here is a small tutorial before we jump into our character rendering. We have a cube here and a plane and only one light source. Now I want the light to only affect the cube and not the plane. So with the new feature, we can actually control which light can affect which object. It is only available in cycles, so select cycles render engine. Make the ambient color to pure black. So we can see the effects clearly. Now select the light, go to object properties. Shading, select light linking and click on create new. It will create the light linking for this light or any name you will give it to the light will be written here. Now you just have to drag the cube in this section and see the magic. Light is only affecting the cube and not the plane. For the plane, I will add the sunlight real quick, go to light linking, create a new one and again same procedure, I will drag the plane onto this section of the light linking. The sunlight will only affect the plane. It doesn't matter if I increase the intensity angle of the light or not. It will only affect the plane and not the cube. Pretty neat right? With this new feature, we have so much control over how we can use the lights on our subject. This feature was the most requested feature by the users because we can actually control the value, the mood, the color and the intensity of the light on each of the individual objects in the scene. Now let's jump into our character rendering real quick. For character rendering, 3-point lighting is always preferred. It is mostly used in real studios and also in 3D softwares, mostly for character rendering. The 3-point light consists of key light, fill light and the rim light. I will use the light linking feature to make groups for the object linking with the light. If you want to get this character, you can get it from my station store. You would be supporting me a lot if you do. So let's begin. I will quickly change the render engine to cycles. I have already given a material to this flame object using all these nodes by following the tutorial of Sam Bam Productions. The character is holding a flame and it will feel really weird if the object is not glowing. So back to the topic. I will quickly turn the ambient color to pure black. Split the screen this way. So at one side I will see what the camera is showing and the other I will be adding and moving the lights. Then I will quickly position the camera. I always change the focal length of the camera to 80 plus. And there is a setting in the camera called passe part out. By increasing it to full, the screen gets blacked out which is outside the camera range. Helps me focus on the render mode. I will disable the overlays now. And I will add the first light called area light. I always use area light most of the time. With area light, you have so much control of where to direct your lights. It is always effective for the characters. Now, I will position the light quickly. I want this light to affect the whole character. It is sort of a fill light. I will just duplicate this light now and rename it to body. I always rename the lights so it would be easier for me to manage light linking. And like I showed you, while the light is selected, go to object properties, light linking and drag the body mesh into this section. Now as you can see, the second light is only affecting the body. How cool is that? The hair part flame object and the eyes are separate so the second light is only affecting the body now what's missing is a background for that i will add a plane real quick scale and position it giving it a material and adding color which can match the colors of a character understanding color theories like analogous and complementary colors can help you a lot making the renders more appealing i will add the area light for the plane as well with the same procedure just follow me on this moving the plane and the light away and just adjusting the settings so I can make that part of the plane more pop up. Now if we can see the focus of the render, the attention is going on the face. But I feel like her eyes needs to be glowing more. So I could just duplicate this light again. But the problem is the whole character is brightening up. So this is where the light linking shines the most. I will link this light with the eyes and just like that, this light is only affecting the eyes. We have so much control over lighting now. I absolutely love this feature. So let's see where we are at now. I have added the fill light, two key lights, one for the body and one for the eyes, not counting the plane. I don't usually change the color of the lights until the very end. I can see that the other side of our body seems very dark. I need to add the fill light again. 
so i will copy this body line so that we would retain all the settings with it and just move around and play with the settings turning the intensity down a little bit scaling the light up so we could have softer shadows and just trying to fill those dark places slightly i'm just making sure that the dark places are not very dark just slightly did this part to brighten up more but no more than our actual key light because we need the attention to where we want and in this situation we point the attention to our front side of the body and face now i will add a point light real quick this time it is for the rim light let's see if we can get a good highlight without leaking it first rim light is commonly used to add contrast to the character it highlights the edges of the character and i want the rim light to highlight those places where which are less affected by the light this looks pretty good now let's render it and see how it looks press f12 on the keyboard to render the image this is good i like it we have every light doing what it needs to be key light fills the main focus of the attention fill light filling the darkest part of the model and the rim light is highlighting where we wanted it to highlight to export the image click to save and select save as but i still need to adjust the colors of the light color set the mood this is a flame character so i will select the body light and set the color to warm any warm color will do i will just try to give it a yellowish tone I will copy the hex code and paste it on the other lights. I am not copying the color on every light. For example, I need the rim light to be white. So I will not change the color of the point light. This is really a personal preference. The colors of the light are defined by the mood of the scene. With this character, I wanted to add more warm feeling. This is why I went towards warm colors. It could have a different mood too. For example, dark blue background with some light having warm colors. The rim light and the other field lights could have contained white or even slightly blue. This is completely up to you. This is how I render every character in Blender. Now with Blender 4.0, adding and controlling the light is really easy. I love this feature. Also, there are some additional tips I would like to give you. Think before proceeding. Decide what area of the character you want the audience to look at the most. Don't limit yourself with the lights. This is not a rule or something that you only need to add 3 lights or 4 lights. If you need to add 3 key lights, and two field lights for example go for it there are no limitations set the color of the lights at the very end first place all the lights with the desired intensity and then in the end change the colors of it this way you will not get overwhelmed and distracted this is it thank you so much if you have reached this far in the video please drop a like and a comment Again, if you want, you can get this model from my Artstation store. Do tell me what other topics you would like me to cover related to Blender in the future. Until next time, take care.